Of the things that are important to you, do you consider yourself to be a follower, a fan, or a faithful? Recently, my assistant, Irene Cathy, told me that she's reading a book, and it's called Not a Fan. And it's about an author who found the prophet Jesus and said that he's going to not be a fan of Jesus, but a follower of Jesus. And it got me thinking, how is this descriptive of what we think and choose in everything in daily life, even outside of religion? And I think there's so much validity to learn that the words we choose represent the inking of our thinking. So if we consider ourselves a fan of something, the other end, the recipient, if you will, doesn't know we exist necessarily. And we might be aware of what that person does, like a fan of a celebrity, and may pay for a Netflix or an old fashioned movie or some version of what this celebrity has done. But the celebrity doesn't really know we exist at all. We're fans, distant and removed. If we are followers, first and foremost in social media, we've clicked to call ourselves, quote, follower, end click. And usually there is some connection between us and the celebrity, or whatever that figure is, friend to celebrity, where we identify ourselves as being part of some kind of emotional thread to follow, to seek out, to be aware of what that person does and maybe in some way internalize what that person represents and maybe learn from and grow into what that person does. A faithful, it seems to me, is the most connected way for us to be with those that we represent or want to represent or connect to. In other words, a fan, pretty disconnected, they don't know we exist, we follow them, oh, I'm such a fan, maybe they bought a DVD, maybe they bought a book, maybe they've heard something I've said and done. A follower, they kind of like to see what I do or what I talk about. Not saying that I'm a celebrity, I'm just talking about in social media on social media outlets like Facebook or Instagram and I'll follow other people and they follow me and we sort of stay connected and see what each other is up to. Sometimes so much that when we actually meet there's nothing to say, not what have you been up to, because we know. But a faithful not only is a fan and a follower but internalizes to some degree what that person represents and moves forward. Different from friend, different from consultant, different from mentoree, because how many people have I mentored that sort of listen to what I say and how many consultants pay me for my opinion and then move on? I think the most important thing if we're going to consider ourselves a faithful of something is to know that we are fan and follower and truly internalize and connect to what the other person represents. So with love in my heart and a firm commitment to spread wellness without walls, I'm Lawrence, expressing my gratitude to you for allowing me to share one of my recent le lessons learned thus far. And I conclude this post by asking, of what things in life are you a fan? Are you a follower? And are you a faithful? Not necessarily in terms of spirituality, but what and who represents on this planet what you most want to be, what you most want to connect to, and what you most want to internalize moving forward. I've learned that these words are huge differences in representing the people we connect to, watch, or even distance ourselves from.